Last weekend was the big fight between Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis. Everyone was excited about it, but I have to be honest, it wasn't a very good fight. I was disappointed. Now don't get me wrong, I know Ryan Garcia is popular. But let's be real, it's not because he's a great boxer or has beaten former champions or won a belt. It's because he has a huge following on social media. His only good win up to this point was the Olympic gold medalist Luke Campbell. As for his actual boxing skills, well, he's still pretty new to the game. He's not as experienced as someone like Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney or Lomachenko. And it showed in the fight. In the first round, Ryan came out strong, throwing jabs and backing off Javante. I gave him that round because he was more active and put Davis on the ropes. But in the second round, Ryan got a bit too cautious. He didn't have the poise that comes with experience, and it started to show. He made mistakes, and it cost him. Javante knocked him down and took control of the fight. From then on, Javante was in cruise control. Ryan seemed to lose confidence and became more tentative. Meanwhile, Javante was all smiles and in full control of the match. I have to admit, I knew Javante was the more experienced fighter going into this. Ryan is still pretty new to the game and he was skipping steps by jumping straight to Javante. And while Ryan has some tools, he's not yet a fully put together fighter. After his victory over Luke Campbell, Ryan Garcia only fought two more times till he met Javante Davis, which didn't help. The rehydration clause didn't help either. Ryan had some good ingredients for the fight, but the weight cut affected his punch resistance and what kind of shots he could absorb. I had picked Javante to win by knockout, and that's exactly what happened. Ryan did have a good sixth round, but it wasn't enough to turn the tide. He lost in the seventh round. So, what went wrong for Ryan? Well, a number of things. For one, he's taller and has a longer reach than Javante, but he kept stepping too far into his punches, getting too close to Javante. He should have used his height and reach to keep Javante at a distance and frustrate him. Instead, he allowed Javante to get in close and land shots. But really, what it came down to was experience. Ryan just isn't as experienced as Javante. He's still learning, still developing. And while his confidence going into the fight was compelling, it wasn't enough. Now I know some people might be impressed with Javante's win over Ryan, but I'm not. The truth is, Javante took the least risk for the most reward by fighting Ryan. He could have gone up against someone like Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson or Lomachenko, but that would have been riskier. Ryan was the least experienced of those fighters, which is why Javante took the fight. All in all, I feel sorry for anyone who paid the full dollar eighty-five to watch the fight on Showtime. It's important to consider the bigger picture and what this fight means for the sport. There's no denying that boxing has had its ups and downs over the years. It's a sport that has been marred by corruption and scandals. But despite all of this, boxing continues to have a dedicated fan base and attracts new fans every year. Part of what makes boxing so appealing is the athleticism and skill required to compete at the highest levels. It's a sport that demands physical and mental toughness, strategic thinking, and the ability to adapt to changing circumstances. The recent fight between Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis showcased both the strengths and weaknesses of boxing as a sport. On the one hand, it was a high-profile event that generated a lot of excitement and attention. Fans were eager to see two young, talented fighters face off against each other in the ring, both being undefeated. But on the other hand, the fight itself was somewhat underwhelming. It didn't live up to the hype and expectations that had been built up in the weeks leading up to it. The weight stipulations and other factors contributed to this, but ultimately it was a lackluster performance by both fighters that left many fans disappointed. This is not to say that Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis are not skilled fighters. They both have a lot of potential and could go on to have successful careers in the sport, but the fight itself highlighted some of the issues that boxing is facing today. One of these issues is the lack of a clear hierarchy or structure within the sport. There are multiple governing bodies and titles that fighters can compete for, which can lead to confusion and a lack of clarity for fans. The sad state of affairs is the fight between Ryan and Javante Davis had no titles on the line. The real fight of the lightweight division will be contested on May 20th, when the undisputed lightweight champion Devin Haney will face Lomachenko in the ring. Now that's a real fight.